Howdy folks, welcome back to Survivor Craft. I'm the Tall Turtle, and today we're gonna check out my branch mine. My branch mine is almost done. And I just want to show you the final touches I've been doing, the original branch mine, of course. And then once this branch mine is all mined out, we will start another branch mine under phase two of the base, which you will never even see because it's just going to be simple and much less pretty, just efficient and just getting the job done. But anyway, first thing we're going to do, though, before we even um, head down there is learn how to go through a door. After we do that, we're going to finish this bow from the last episode just because I don't want to forget about it. So let's um, put the last thing on the bow. I did visit the Enderman farm and got my levels and needed 19. Hopefully it stayed 19. There we go. And that should be pretty much the same. One, two, three, four, five enchantments. One, two, three, four, five enchantments. Flame infinity power punch and breaking. Flame infinity power punch and breaking. There we go. And I brought an extra anvil just in case that one broke and it hasn't broken yet. So I'm going to put that one in there. I'm going to forget about that because it's going to be a while. But let's put this back in my, well, in my bow area. And hopefully I won't forget that I have it when this one breaks. But anyway, I want to go down and show you my mine. We have a few other things. What I've been doing is I have my fortune pick and my silk touch pick that I've been using and mending as time goes on. Now, if you remember, when it came down here, this used to be my stairs down into my mine, but it's changed. We now have an elevator lobby. I made elevators, and it even says, in case of emergency, use scary ladder, which we'll talk about. We have a down and an up. I did not do any of this on camera. I probably should have, because watching me try to do an up elevator with soul sand was really hilarious. It took a long time. I needed to enlist Lady Vivian's help through Discord, and I figured it out. I used the kelp method to create all the water into source blocks. I only poured the water once, etc., etc. You all know what I'm talking about, but I had no idea what was going on. But now I do, and it's further back because, well, you'll see why it's further back than this one. So let's go down. It goes all the way down to the bottom of my mind. And we have another elevator lobby, which is less pretty on purpose. Same warning, though. The reason why this is back one is I couldn't put soul sand here because of bedrock. And this one was already done and polished. So I just um, left it that way. So if you've noticed before, and I mentioned this a long time ago, the way I'm building this base out is kind of like things are unfinished and left to fall apart because like an old mining establishment and they just kind of let it go. But I live here. I took it over. So things like this are all polished. But as you come down here, the walls are less done. They didn't quite finish. The reason why this is all finished is because it was used for a lot of things and needed to look nice, all those falling apart, that type of thing. And that continues, that theme continues in the elevator lobbies. So it's solid and good, then it kind of falls apart, but they finished this just because they had to build elevators. And then um, things started falling apart. So by the time we get to the lower elevator lobby, it's even less done, right? But that's the whole point, and that's the story behind it. So here we go. My branch mine is all the way down to the bottom. We just have a few things left to do on both sides. And I'm going to actually show you what I was doing, how I was doing it. And we're actually going to mine a few rows together. So it's going to be a very low-key episode. In fact, the episode's probably half over already. But anyway, so I removed all these stairs, pushed all this back, removed every torch that wasn't necessary. And this is what we end up with. And so here's the scary ladder. So if the elevators don't work, you gotta use the scary ladder. In case of emergency, do not use the elevator. Scary ladder. And then I've been going up and down. I haven't died. I haven't fallen off and died. I'm quite pleased. Oh, got some people join and leave and join. Okay, awesome. Anyway, so this is where this is tucked away, restricted access. There's one little button to get back in. Otherwise, those are the two ways. That just goes up to the top, which you've seen before. That has not changed. But anyway, so there you go. I wanted to show you all that. Then last thing we're going to do is um, mine a little bit together. Um, should we start from this end? Um, I'm just trying to think. There's a bunch of lava pools over here that I don't want to waste time fighting lava pools. I also don't know why I extended this bottom area. What I've been doing, which to speed this up, which I'm going to be doing in the whole next branch mine, which isn't going to be pretty, like I said, 
is I've been going out and then back and then out and then back and then out and then back. And there's another row behind the mine that gets lower and lower as you dig, which you'll probably see when I do the other branch mine, because I haven't done branch mining in like 110 episodes or something. And um, I'll show you the method for that, for speed. But this is actually going to be the final touches of the pretty mine. And we are going to dig through bedrock to find diamonds. For some reason, there's some rumor out there that diamonds can't exist at bedrock level. But they most certainly do. I have found plenty of diamonds mixed within the bedrock. Um, and I had actually mentioned that one day. And Golterfran went to check and he immediately found diamonds in bedrock where he was mining so um i check all the way down as far as i can and then i'm not worried about mob spawning because i make sure there's two blocks so they can't come up behind me the reason why i put things like this is because in the beginning things would come up behind me and i'll get startled so i just like to block myself in plus this is my pretty mine it looks abandoned that way so we're gonna just do a little bit of mining together we haven't mined together yeah it's been like 100 episodes because early on i did a branch mining tutorial so sometimes I'll fill all this in, but it just wastes time. And sometimes I'll go actually go through and check light levels that I don't need to, just to be careful so nothing can sneak up behind me. But anyway, it's been a while since we branched mind together. So we're gonna do a little bit together today. Otherwise the episode will only be four minutes long <laughs> or three minutes long. So we are just gonna do the whoops, a little bit here. Um, let's use this to fill in. I always put, so I never step on gravel because it could collapse, although this close to the bottom of um well no i take that back i have had single source lava blocks throughout throughout all this so um i just want to be careful and don't want to get too close because if there's lava pool it's hard to run back so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a few torch areas then we're going to come back and dig down below and just check things out see if there's anything down there like I said, I have found at least a dozen or more diamonds digging down to bedrock, or through the bedrock. So, um, they do exist. I know there are more efficient ways to do this, and I've, you know, I have this down to a science till I start talking to record, and then I'm all jittery, and, and not jittery, but not in the groove. So let's keep going down, keep checking for things, and then... Again, don't want to get too close because there are lots of lava pools above us at this point. Then they spill out on my head. I've had a few scares. Um, and I get a little bit too comfortable. Like I'll start um, getting relaxed and in the zone. And also lava will come on my head. Earlier today when I was mining off camera, I had a skeleton fall on my head. Don't know how that happened, but apparently there was enough space above me that was dark. And the skeleton fell on my head and that was very startling. So we're going to do a few more like this, and then when we get to the back, which is row, or it's block 80 in the coordinates, um, we will, it'll open up, and then we know to do the next, the next row. So we're just going to go one row out that way, and then run row back together, and um, just checking things out. Oh, look, there's even more, but obviously there's not going to be anything under that one, because that's the bottom, so I'm not even going to dig that one out. But I'm hoping I find diamonds on camera in this bedrock, just so you believe me. Like I said, I found about a dozen so far um, going other parts of my mind, not just in these couple rows, but I found quite a few. And I'm hoping I find one. We're due to find one. I found an eight vein, which with fortune got me 26 diamonds. Of course, that wasn't on camera. Um, and I found, I found several eight veins and a few six veins, but we're due for diamonds. I haven't found diamonds in quite a while. So I'm just going to blab and fill dead quiet time with my voice. <laughs> we're gonna mine this out a little bit. Um, like I said, just cause we haven't mined together in a long time. Being careful of lava coming down on us because like I said, aside from single source lava blocks in the bedrock, the lava pools are all above us. So we're just gonna keep going. It's quite a ways back in my mind. It's all under my base, too. I have not mined anywhere that isn't under my base. Because I don't want to be rude and have, like, these branch mines going, you know, through people's future property or anything. And that's why phase two, oh, your skeleton somewhere. Phase two, or my second branch mine, will be under phase two of my base. Like, exactly. See, there's something, right? 
I know it's just redstone, but it could have been a diamond. And then there's more. In fact, I dug out a whole bunch of coal the other day doing this. I probably got half a stack of coal using fortune. Just digging through the digging through the bedrock here. Let's keep going a little bit. I'm going to get a text in a second because my phone is making noises in my headphones. Hope I guess not. Maybe it was an email. All right, let's see. Can I reach that? Nope, nothing down there. Hmm. I'm really hoping I find at least one diamond in this bedrock. Just to prove a point. Now I'm determined. But it does slow me down. Um, like I said, we are due. We are due for diamonds. Let's see. Let's keep going. And the reason why I'm blabbing is I don't want to make any cuts. I'm watching somebody branch mine in silence. Yeah, isn't that exciting? So we'll just keep going here. Keep digging. Hopefully we find something of interest. Much I like iron is not that interesting. I right, know lava, yeah, which is good. That's why I started on this side because the lava pools are actually to the left and I know that. And I can talk and not worry about getting distracted and getting burnt up. There we go. There's some iron in the iron in there. Let's just fill that in so nothing will spawn a sneak up behind me. Let's see here. Let's see what's going on. Sorry, I was distracted by chat. Trying to decide if I should edit that out or not. Like I said in previous episodes, I've been less concerned with scrubbing chat. Just because um, it's a lot of work. And who's on with us tonight? Those people are on with us tonight. Hmm. Let's do it. I just walked right into that hole. Let's see. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. Because normally when I do this, I'm not trying to entertain people. I'm just casually mining, taking my time, enjoying myself. But this is taking longer than I thought. Digging through the bedrocks, I might end up skipping the return trip until something exciting happens. But let's just go through here. Should be punching through. There it is. See? I have this going this way. And then my other branch mine basically will be a box like with this big gap around the edges and then just back and forth rows. Like I already did some of these. You know, that goes back, for example. Um... That's what the other branch of mine will look like. Very industrial and to the point. Not pretty at all. But let's just finish this because I promised you some branch mining. Digging through like so. Through the bedrock. I was just thinking too if I do find a diamond in the bedrock. Hope I can get it. Because if it's like two blocks to the side, you can't get it. So hopefully if I find a diamond I can get it. Okay, nothing yet at all. We're gonna need another torch. No, we don't. Stick on there anyway. All right, can never have too many torches. Let's see, anything here? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alrighty, well, let's get ready for a return trip. Oof, so, like usual, it's gonna be every four, or you can just look up and go, that's strange. Go that was the other one was, so the next one would be right here, like this. Right? One, two, three, four, and then these will, you know, fill in as we come and go, zigzag through. Now, if I do find a lava pool, I'll come back, go down the next row, and then finish the row with a lava pool from the other side, if that makes sense. Um, otherwise, let's just keep going here. Well, be careful, lava this low, because there could be. Um, uh, lava gravel because there could be lava coming down above us and I don't know if it's really true or not but I usually find that dirt at the lower levels surrounds a lava pool as well oh, there's some gold that's not exactly what's the light level here it's not exactly um, a diamond but that's okay let's do a few more here one more torch worth and then we'll Dig out the bottom. So what I'm going to do, because I'm sick of listening to myself talk, believe it or not, I do not like to listen to myself talk. I know you're all going to disagree with me because I talk a lot, but I actually don't like listening to myself talk at all. So I am going to dig through here just like I did on the way out, but it's going to be the return trip. 
And um, if I run into anything interesting, like a diamond in the bedrock or just diamond period, because I don't think any of my diamonds have been found on camera. Anyway, if I find a diamond wherever it is in the bedrock or not, I will cut back and we'll capture it on video. And I hear a monster somewhere. I don't know where that monster could be. But anyway, I will catch you in a little bit, hopefully before we reach the other end of the mine, because that means we didn't find anything. Here's some coal in the bedrock. I've actually picked up a few pieces, but see, here's a problem. I can't get it, see? So if that were a diamond, for example, that would have been devastating. Anyway, moving on. Here's a bunch of redstone in the bedrock. That was like eight or nine blocks worth there. But still not diamonds, so moving along. Hey, look at diamonds. Yeah, they're in the bedrock, so we'll see how far down they go. I'm quite curious, but I'm going to make you wait a minute. We're going to clean up. Behind me, I did get a whole bunch of more coal and redstone back there. Oh, there's more redstone, too. And I hear a zombie. Why do I hear a zombie down here? It's also funny that the redstone has so much experience points that um, um, it keeps mending my pick. And then I also dig these down. So if it's too dark and something can spawn, it ends up being two blocks and they can't get me. Although I don't know if things can spawn on bedrock. I've never actually looked into that. But anyway, are we getting closer to the diamonds here? I want to dig that off from here. Alrighty. And that's it. Make that a two blocker. Okay, so uh, let's dig the sand first. In case there's like a single lava block or something around here. You never know. Let's give ourselves a way out. And there's a redstone. More redstone. Yep. More redstone. Nope, just my other tunnel. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's see how many we get. So we're in the bedrock. See, there's one, two, and three. And with the TPS, it like misses things. So let's dig that out. All right, so there's three, which with fortune got a six. So see, that was worth it. So these things do appear in the bedrock. Um, let's bring this back up just for a second here so we can dig ahead of ourselves and not run into something. Because I did hear lava a little bit ago. Granted, that was a little bit ago, though. But there's some diamonds. So maybe we'll find a few more before we poke through the other end. Maybe we won't. If we do, I'll stop and show you. If not, I will catch you as soon as we pop through the other end. Oops, something's walking over there somewhere. And we punch through the other side. And no monsters greeting us, so we're going to finish this off. No more diamonds. I did find a bunch of other resources, a bunch more coal, and a whole bunch of um, redstone and iron. Got a lot of iron. So all these resources are from digging in the bedrock. So it is definitely worth it to do. It just slows you down a little bit if you're just flying through your branches, you know, taking the time to dig through. But um, you will find some resources. It's totally worth it. So let's see here. Let's dig this last one out. And let's get a gate. So anyway, that's what I'll be doing off camera for the rest of this. Just going in one way, out the other. It looks cool too, doesn't it? Looks really cool. We do that all the way down that way, and I'll be doing the same thing on this side where I go out and create a back hallway and then zigzag through. Although we have a lot of lava pools there, a lot of lava pools there. So it does slow me down a little bit. But anyway, that is actually going to do it for the episode. A quick one today, which is fine because I had a few very long ones recently. But hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you for continuing support. If you found me by accident, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. Check out the links to the other survivors in the description below. If you are a survivor, I'll see you on the server. If you're not a survivor, consider joining the Paul Soros Jr. Patreon server. But no matter where you came from or who you are or why you're here, please stick around for the next episode and we'll catch you next time.